Hi Aries, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Aries placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and um, booking your personal with me. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and happiness on your journey. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media uh, platforms, okay? So let's tap in Aries. Let's see. The spirit guys, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Aries collective. And protect me as I channel the messages for Aries. What's going on for Aries spirit? Let's see. Okay, three of swords, the sun. Oh. Mm, I just got something immediately, but. You know, I've really been channeling a lot about a spirit baby that could be coming. Okay. Some of you guys have experienced a miscarriage, okay, recently, trigger warning, or or it doesn't have to be recently, but maybe you could have experienced a lot of them. I channeled that in Capricorn's reading, something about a baby's very significant, your fertility. But um, something about kids here, somebody could have possibly, somebody was pregnant with twins and they lost one of them. I'm sorry to hear that, if that's the case. There could be a twin flame relationship that you're harboring pain about because you're not with this person. So there's a need for you to kind of like, yeah, let things go because the whole point of the connection is for you to come into union with yourself. If you and your person come into union together physically, I feel like that's more so a free will. The main thing about twins is that y'all come into union with oneself and you guys are standing in your power and being your true authentic self and you're fulfilling your purpose that spirit wants you to fulfill on this earth okay that's what they are about but um we got leo here we got libra saturn so something is being revealed about somebody having a broken heart maybe somebody is acting out because of a broken heart okay somebody is not there could be a breakup here because something has been exposed okay too like somebody's heartbroken what because you're happy or you're yeah the chariot the chariot talks about triumph being triumphant okay um being victorious could be dealing with a cancer i feel like you pushed through any kind of challenges here i feel like you overcame something now somebody's getting exposed okay they're getting exposed for something could be an ex of yours okay yeah something about a child a significant page of cups or somebody's inner child is really wounded somebody has to do a lot of inner child healing this person yeah the emperor the devil this person is is wanting a lot of control somebody's very controlling this could be another aries or a capricorn definitely go watch capricorn's reading okay somebody is obsessed with control power authority and when somebody doesn't give them that they act an ass Okay. Somebody's childish. And they live in La La Land with this page of cups. They like idolize everything. They're in a dreamy state. I don't know, but. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What's, what's, um, somebody here could be seeing you dating or going out or you just got good news coming in. You're having a good time. You could be working on your creative pursuits. Or this person, whoever this is, could be very artistic and creative, but because they're not healing, it, it, it's just taking over. Yeah, there's the emperor and the sun. Okay. It could be another Aries that's actually coming into your life. This emperor could actually be, now that I'm now that it's lining up with the sun, at first it wasn't, but <laughs> this could be um, somebody that you are getting ready to be with. 
or you're in your masculine energy Aries I mean you are masculine whether you're man or woman okay yeah ace of cups wow a lot of fertility here this masculine yeah the magician the eight of pentacles the world mm -hmm. the power you have the power to attract wealth abundance security stability here I feel like you've mastered something about yourself and there's a new beginning so um you guys could like I say you could be dating this is a lot of emotional fulfillment, willpower. I feel like you're celebrating. Definitely some of y'all could be having a baby, so congrats. Okay, you're going to move forward and have a baby. You know what I'm channeling now? Nelly and Ashanti. <laughs> some of y'all could actually, for some of you, not everybody, you could actually be coming back together with um somebody that you've been separated with for a while. It You know, it depends. Not for everybody, though. Please take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of abundance and emotional fulfillment coming in. What's the three of swords? Yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse towards Saturn. So somebody here is losing something. They're frustrated. Somebody here could be losing a lot of money. They really make a lot of bad financial decisions. Okay, there's been a Delata. I said Delata. Somebody's name could be Delilah. <laughs> Delata. I don't know. That could be somebody's name. But Seven of Pentacles in reverse is definitely a bad investment. It's um something not growing. Something not being nurtured. It's, that's what I'm saying. Somebody's heart is not being nurtured. It's not, they're not nurturing themselves. They're not growing. Nothing is happening for somebody because of the fact that they have a broken heart. This person, their heart is not in the right space, in the right place. Somebody needs to do a lot of healing work. What's the three of swords with the seven of pentacles in reverse? Or you just, you stop investing in, in something. You pulled your energy back out of something. Okay, yeah, the temperance. Yeah, somebody needs to, maybe you pulled your energy out of something or pulled your, you stopped investing into something because you didn't see it growing. And now somebody's having a broken heart. I feel like you're healing or you're just trying to bring back more peace and harmony into your life. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius so you have that in your chart. Or something is not growing here that somebody is trying to do because you're protected. That could be too, because I saw the five of wands. I don't know, somebody's being petty. Somebody's being petty. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the five of cups. Somebody's just sad. They're just a sad-ass person. Look at this person's face. Somebody's looks could be changed. I know my nails look a mess. I'm not getting my nails done until next week, okay? Okay, I'm not. <laughs> so, um, Scorpio Mars here. There could be people that are walking away from this that, uh, this particular person because I feel like their character and their energy is just, it brings about a lot of death to things. They just are sad. This is a sad person. They need to heal. Somebody really needs to heal. I don't know. Or somebody is sad or in regret or angry that you pulled your energy back. You stopped investing into them. Somebody's in regret. What's the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, Five of Cups? Yeah, look, Page of Swords in Reverse, what I'm saying. You could have cut off complete contact with this person, like you're not speaking to them at all. And then when y'all do speak, there could be like sarcasm or like somebody's trying to be funny or something with the Page of Swords in Reverse. Um, This could be a lot of paranoia though and anxiety. Somebody here could, they in deep regret about something. They could want to apologize, but y'all not speaking at all. This person here could have lied and gossiped about you or talked shit about you behind your back with the Page of Swords. In reverse, sent you the evil eye. I don't know, so, but yeah, Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. You know, in Leo's reading, I just got something about an STD and somebody lied on somebody and said that they got an STD. This could be what this this is coming out in this reading. So make sure you go maybe watch Leo's reading. You're being vindicated with the judgment of this. 
lie. Somebody said that you were getting around. Knight of Wands and you were a player and you got an STD. Ten of Wands and you hurt other people with this STD. <laughs> but it's really them for some of you. Somebody try to paint this false narrative of you. What's the temperance? Yeah, Three of Pentacles. What's the temperance, Three of Pentacles? Capricorn, Mars. Knight of Swords. So there was some sort of swift or quick action that, that has uh, taken place that brought balance back into a situation. So there's something that you did you moved a certain way. Um, you did something. Maybe you could have partnered with somebody or you part you're partnering with someone that's proving that this is a lie, that it's false, it's false gossip, it's, it's maliciousness. It's not coming from, a, somebody's not telling the truth. There could be three or more people or it could be three people here, a group of people that attacked you. You're being protected from this attack. But I feel like you did something that brought balance into your life. And it exposed the truth. Something about the truth is being exposed. And it could be that you're connecting to an emperor. So if you got an STD, you wouldn't be able to be with your divine masculine. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm saying. Like, spirit is not even going to let that happen. I don't know. But. <clears throat> the Knight of Swords is like somebody that's a leader. They're ambitious. That's sudden changes or big changes that are happening. This could be. A sudden arrival or a sudden departure or, or something that you did. You did something that proved that somebody was not telling the truth. And it's coming out that this person is still pining over you. This person said they still love you or something. The magician, the two of cups, and the five of swords. This person could be trying to... Um, fuck with your relationships, your love life to keep a lie going. It's some sort of narrative. Somebody's trying to keep going here and it's not working. This could also be this person doing magic. They're doing like love spells or something like that to try to get you back. Five of swords, they're trying to like get you back, but it hasn't worked. Wow. Somebody is, is just, they're broken. They need to heal. Okay. Yeah. Ten of swords. Somebody needs to really go somewhere and heal. What's the sun? Yeah, four of cups. They're not getting what they bargained for here. Cancer, moon, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or with the Jupiter energy, somebody could have Saggy in their chart or Pisces. So yeah, there's there's things that are changing. There's some like sort of faded events that are taking place that is causing someone to feel rejected. Miss an opportunity with you. I feel like the opportunity has always been missed because you don't want this person or you don't want to have shit to do with them anymore. Anymore. Something about this person's behavior, though, is coming out because they don't like rejection. They don't like to look stupid. They don't like to be wrong. They don't like looking like a fool, but they are a fool though. When you accept that you are a piece of shit, then you can heal. Like, damn, I've really been a dickhead. I've really been a piece of shit. Somebody don't want to be looked at like they don't make any mistakes or they want to be seen as perfect. It's like, bitch, nobody is like that. Everybody does something crazy at some point in their life. Somebody just want to keep playing the victim. What's the four of cups? Yeah, the justice, what I'm saying, Libra. And the moon, exactly. We got the sun and the moon here. There's balance for sure. Moon, sun. Some of y'all got twin flame connections that have taught you certain things about yourself and different things going on in your life. Karmic lessons that you've learned from different people. But I'm saying, um, <clears throat> you're definitely protected here. I feel like um, you're very intuitive as well. Cancer Pisces. With the moon. Yeah, justice. <laughs> this person. Things are fair. Things are balanced. The truth is coming out. And now they feel rejected. Something is, is at a stalemate for them. Whoever this is. They're being left out in the cold. There, there could be a lot of fear here too. But 
I mean, you should be scared. You shouldn't have did what you did. Yeah, What's this moon? Yeah, Eight of Swords. This person and the Magician. Yeah, this person has been probably fucking around in spell work and shit like that too. Okay, but the Eight of Swords, this is fear. This person could have been trying to attack you. I always get that with this this person in this thing. In this uh suit, the shields, this armor, I meant. They could be, they have a knife out. Somebody has been trying to like attack you here and bind you or keep you stuck in something. Or just stuck or in fear or whatever. They've been attacking you constantly, I feel. Somebody here could be going to jail. They're going to spiritual jail. The justice, the eight of swords, the moon, this person. They've been ready to miss out on a lot of opportunities. Not just one with you. It's about to be a lot of them because they keep playing around. They keep on playing around. What's the wheel? Yeah, five of wands. So a lot of faded events happening because things are turning in your favor and not so much theirs. There's fighting, arguing, bickering. I feel like whatever the secret competition is, you want it. Okay, it's like people like to try to compete with you and they still be losing at their own fucking game. It's like you look like an idiot in real life. You look like a damn fool. I don't get it. Leo Saturn. Somebody is fighting these changes, boy. It's, they do not want to lose. What a shame. What's the chariot? <laughs> Ten of Swords. Yeah, you overcame this battle, this curse, this hex, or this fucking, uh, this betrayal. Them, them stabbing you in the back, probably behind your back a million and one times. Let me see something. <clears throat> Ten of swords, the main meaning. It says, I want to see what that man is behind the, those swords. The situation is alarming, but there is a chance to find a positive solution. And you did. You've been pushing through whatever this is. Something here... You could have given up or you, I feel like your faith has been really strong through a lot of situations and you still move forward. Fear, you work through your fears and everything. Nostalgia for the past can give new energy. It will take time to find peace, but nothing will be the same again. Mm. So it says under a black sky, crisscrossed with sinister streaks of light, a man lies in a wasteland. His body has been pierced by 10 swords. The image to this point is identical to the original. The new version, though, incorporates an approaching figure dressed in black. The main subject is the man lying on the ground, completely lifeless. Yeah, something, something is completely dead. It's completely over. It's done. Just period. Just period. This man does not represent death, even though first impressions point to it. Instead, his situation suggests a series of emotional injuries so deeply hurtful they make him appear dead. Beneath this sky of darkness, of darkest thoughts, the only ray of hope is the attending figure, a ghost who reminds him of childhood mistakes or a mother who encourages him to listen to his conscience. Mm. Wow. I feel like, let me see, what, what else for this chariot with the Ten of Swords? They say emotional in injuries, and this is swords. Yeah, the king of swords. And yeah, and the devil. This person is control king of swords in reverse, and the devil. Somebody here just likes control. This person is such a narcissist. They're, they're so screwed up from their childhood, their past, that they just don't. They just are screwing everybody over. They are. This person is very controlling. They have a lot of repressed emotions and feelings, and they're very, um, they make a lot of really irrational decisions very judgmental they criticize everybody with the king of swords in reverse and the devil upright that's a very controlling sinister dark manipulative especially with your mental and your emotions for sure your mental this person could be psychologically abusive okay very dark person that feels like they can run some sort of dictatorship 
was um for some of you if it's not that deep okay this could be somebody that just is not if this is somebody that you're having to walk away from this person you have to move on from them because like the car said like they've been through so much emotional trauma that maybe they haven't done anything to you besides i guess leave you abruptly they could have ghosted you or whatever the fuck you have to walk away from them because they just are lifeless they can't give life to the situation they're continuing to not be their true authentic self they don't want to heal they're lying about something too it's just like a lot so if they're not malicious and they just like are not opening up they're really they rather have control over themselves or they don't they don't want to lose themselves in somebody they don't trust themselves enough to be vulnerable then yeah queen of swords exactly then you just gotta leave them where they at what's this king of swords in reverse yeah the ace of cups you have ace of cups this person has a lot of repressed feelings and emotions this could have been a new lover at some point in your life or you have a lot of love for this person so if it's not malicious it's somebody here that just y'all not speaking y'all not on good terms because they keep lying about something or they keep trying to control their feelings. So I feel like you learn to love this person unconditionally, yeah, and forgive them. And that's the key to your twin flame union, child. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I feel like I felt like somebody had a twin or something. One of the twins, I say one of the twins passed. Okay, that's this person. Maybe for some of you, your twin did pass away. I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay. But I'm saying that like in a metaphorical way. Is that the right word? Or it's not figuratively, rather. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah. Mm, what's the King of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Cups? Yeah, Seven of Swords. They'd rather just keep running away from a genuine love, a real partnership, Queen of Cups, somebody that's going to love them, care about them. They don't, they don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to be vulnerable. But for others of you, this is somebody here that really been attacking you. They've been attacking you behind the scene. I feel like there's two energies. One of them you can walk away from and know that you try with that person and things just don't work out. Y'all continue to be friends later or whatever. Okay. Because you know deep down something is wrong with that person and you can't make them change. Right. They're just not meant for you. Then there's somebody else that I feel has been lying on you to ruin your love connections lying on you to other people saying oh she don't or he don't really love themselves they just put on a front that's a facade to to maintain control of them because they're really dark they, they're this is a really dark person that can't come from out of the darkness this person would rather lie and live in a lie than to admit that they fucked up and they fucked over a lot of people so that that's the dark person that i'm talking about What's the Seven of Swords? Or they could both be the same people. I don't know. <laughs> like, you can feel the emotions for both of them. I mean, you could feel the same emotions for this. that's the same person. Like, you know it's something wrong with them. Yeah, you still got to forgive them either way. Yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody is just feels... Somebody feels... It's making me sad. What the fuck? Somebody feels so unloved. There's like a, a dysfunctional family dynamic or somebody is lying about their family. They're keeping things hidden about their family and the issues that went on there. There could be some sort of like abuse or trauma for sure. But the Ten of Cups in reverse, this could be child abuse. Trigger warning. This reading is very triggering. Okay. But um, somebody could be lying about why you and this, if you and this person have kids together, that's the malicious person for some of you. They could be lying about why there was a breakup or why there's a broken family, a broken home. It's because of you. They're putting it on you <laughs> as to why this person continues to just run away from the truth. They don't want to be honest about why people leave them out. It's because they're not a good person, whoever this is. That I feel that's the other person that ain't got no, they acting like they ain't got no sense. Yeah, four of pentacles. They're greedy. They're stingy. This person is selfish. Very controlling, possessive person. What's this Ace of Cups right here?
the hermit and the chariot again. Yeah, this is you. Um, doing the healing work, going within with the hermit and the, the chariot. It's, somebody could be under investigation for something. Okay, I don't know. But the hermit and the chariot is definitely willpower, determination, drive. I feel like you could be keeping something quiet. Okay, but you are moving forward. I feel like you've gained a lot of introspection and learned yourself a lot. You've done a lot of healing and shadow work. This is why you're overcoming a, uh, whatever battles and hardships you've been through. And you're coming out triumphant and victorious. Yeah. What's the Ten of Swords? You guys will be saying ten ten. Yep, the Emperor. Again, what's the Ten of Swords with the Emperor? Mm. I feel like you're getting another Emperor Aries, or that could be you. <laughs> What's this emperor right here with this ten of swords? Yeah, it's like somebody fell from grace here. Seven of cups. Somebody is not willing to like be an emperor. They were an emperor, but they betrayed you or stabbed you in the back because of some sort of illusion or they were confused or their family got in the mix of something. They let them get in the mix of it. I don't know. Somebody is cursed or hexed here. This person... Somebody is stuck in a, I don't know what they're stuck in. Mm. Yeah, something is blocked. Seven of wands, three of wands. Somebody is stuck in some sort of illusion or they're stuck in an illusion that they're in control of something. They're not. Somebody here thinks that they're an emperor or something. What's this emperor? Give me more on that emperor. You got two emperors here. One of them is false, though. <laughs> or they were an emperor, but they fell from grace. They just cannot get it together. Yeah, the hangman in reverse. Yeah. That's like somebody that's like, they're stagnant. This right here with these other cards around it. I mean, somebody could be cursing and hexing your love life as well, but I feel like that's a false emperor. This person is um you could be dealing with a pisces this person is stuck they're stagnant this is like impulsivity and negative patterns just continuously on repeat with this in reverse i feel like you've gotten from out of this trap here you've you've walked away and withdrew withdrew your energy but this person with this right here this is just giving me a father figure this could be your child's father or somebody it could be a woman it could be a man whatever the fuck but they're stuck in their own misery okay they're confused they're in some sort of illusion and they think they have control over something and they don't. That, that person has completely lost their way. What's the page of cups? Mm. The tower. Aries, Scorpio. And then we have the two of swords. <clears throat> Libra moon. So yeah, I feel like a tower moment here has something came crashing down or a lot is being revealed to you at this time. But this is like destruction. So something is falling apart. It's kind of like chaotic or it feels that way because it's been keeping you at a stalemate. This could be this page of cups. It's like it's time for you to open your heart again. It's time for you to move forward. You can't stay stuck over there in these situations with these people or whatever the fuck this is. Okay. Something could have came out about a child. Okay, but I feel like it's more so you opening yourself up. You could be dating. There could be social gatherings, social invitations um, with the page of cups, but that's like good news. Something here kept you stuck. What's the two of swords? Something was keeping you stuck or you were trying to choose between two or you need to choose between two, but I feel like you... You kind of did, or you're seeing what you need to do. What's the two of swords? Yeah, king of cups in reverse. Excuse me. Yeah, this is... Um, yeah, somebody's emotionally unavailable. They're emotionally unavailable. They're moody. They're all over the place. Somebody here could be depressed. Okay, somebody here could already be married. King of cups in reverse could be a married man. Somebody's just cheating. That's what they're doing, but... This is why. This is why this is stuck and it's not moving forward. 
but more so because somebody is just they're miserable and they're very emotionally immature they could be gaslighting you very they could be emotionally abusive in some sort of way or they remind you about a lot of emotionally abusive situations that you've been through already what's the tower I feel like somebody is trying to hide that's what their problem is because I feel like somebody's malicious here yeah the judgment this is like an awakening a big karmic lesson that has been learned somebody going through they getting ready to learn a big ass lesson I don't know but that king of cups in reverse is definitely somebody that has distorted feelings I feel like for you this person they don't know if they hate you or they love you this king of cups in reverse okay there could be two different masculines here you were an illusion about one of them one of them being your masculine but they kept going and repeating the same shit over and over again this is emperor up here and then you got somebody that's emotionally and mentally like abusive that just i don't know what their issue is they need to really go see a psychiatrist <laughs> no like i'm not even trying to be funny king of cups though in reverse they ruthless what's the king of cups in reverse it just depends yeah this person is is non-committal with the eight of cups in reverse this person is like they're stagnant they're stuck they are they have a lot of abandonment wounds and insecurities this person has a problem and they've been hiding it too with the two of swords they've been in denial they don't want to they don't want to like grow up this person they're getting ready to be in for a rude awakening with this tower and the judgment yeah five of pentacles three of swords they're getting ready to feel God's wrath because they need to grow up. Whoever this is, both masculines. If there's <clears throat> two different masculines you dated, that's like like similar. One of them, one of them is just more cowardly than the other because they're not saying anything or they keep lying and they even ghosted you or whatever the fuck. I don't know. You could have a child with one of these masculines, or if it's a woman, if you're a man watching an Aries man, you could have a child with one of these women or whatever the fuck, right? But. There's a big lesson here around forgiveness. I feel like the one that was abusing you purposely, like really doing things. I feel like the other one, they're not doing it on purpose. I feel like they're just hurt. And that's your twin. I feel like that's your twin. The twins don't hurt you on purpose, even though they it looks like that. They don't. And this is the karmic masculine that hurt you purposely. This is the one that you could be really harboring pain about that that I feel like you've healed from so now you're getting ready to open yourself up to new things because you finally just released it this pain that this person caused you and you just realize like they just need help they're just lost they do things out of just because they need to heal their inner child I feel like that's what this is they keep being in denial this this lesson here is about to make them sit down with this page of cups they're gonna have to confront this inner child wound something about child abuse could be significant Somebody hasn't dealt with that. So they're just acting out. What's the emperor right here? What's this one? They've been painting this false narrative. It's like they're the emperor. They're not. What's this emperor with the six of swords? They've been fooling everybody with that. Yeah, the three of swords. You guys will be seeing three, three, three. Ten of pentacles, four of swords. Yeah. Somebody's going to be heartbroken when you move forward to a real emperor. I feel like that's where you're going. You're being guided to move. So some of y'all could be being guided to relocate or move or travel or your emperor is moving towards you. I don't know. But that six of swords and the three of swords, this is like healing, making progress on your journey. Relocating, meaning you're going at a different, you're, you're leveling up on your journey. There's a different phase here waiting for you. Okay. Um, this is like things moving into karma waters. Yeah, what's the three of swords? That's that heartbroken person up there, possibly. Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be having to move or relocate or something. They could have moved. Like, I don't know. You could have a stalker. Somebody here could be stalking you. <laughs> That's what I just heard. But it's probably this crazy person that can't, that don't want to heal. They could be quite dangerous. Okay, because they just let they. They trauma take over their life, their demons. But um, <clears throat> yeah, two of pentacles in reverse is definitely somebody that's not open to change. They don't want to change. They're not, they can't adapt to their surroundings. Um, there's a lot of imbalance here. Definitely somebody's imbalanced physically. I mean, well, yeah, probably physically, but mentally and emotionally because they're just sad. 
This is a sad person. This could be your ex with the three of swords. Or it could be a friend. It could be any damn body. But, yeah, somebody's financially lost. They really make poor financial decisions. And it's like something has gotten out of control. Somebody can't keep up with something any longer. What's the three of swords with the two of pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Yeah, six of wands in reverse. There's like, um, and then we have the ace of wands. Page of pentacles, nine of pentacles, six of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Damn, a lot of money around here. <laughs> a lot of stability, security. But, um... <clears throat> I feel like there's a new beginning coming in for you. This person was powering up somehow, some way. With a group of people, six of wands in reverse. This could be a group of people that are, um, they're losing in life, clearly. This person can run with a lot of fucking losers. Or they hold a group of people that lost their way because this person was trying to lead these people. They're not a real leader. That's an illusion that's been painted. With that emperor up there, that ten of swords, the hangman in reverse, and the seven of cups, that's an illusion. Somebody's not a real emperor. They're not. So there's a group of people here that had bad intentions too. That this emperor or somebody was together with, doing shit with to hurt you, I guess, or whatever this is. That's not working. Everybody's losing money. Definitely a lot of stability and things like that. It's not there anymore. Somebody here is losing their way. They can't keep up with what they started with that two of pentacles in reverse. What's the six of swords? Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, so you could be coming out of some sort of like anxiety, worry, stress. You're definitely moving into calmer waters. Okay. Yeah, the devil, the lovers, the four of wands. Hmm. Somebody's obsessed with your stability, your connections, or they just wanted to have some sort of tie to you to keep manifest. I, you know, I keep getting that. There's somebody demonic in a collective that keeps on trying to siphon energy. I feel like same thing here. Okay, it looks like it. It looks like it. They're being exposed, child. This emperor, honey. Yeah, the page of cups, the devil again, the seven of wands. <clears throat> What's this ace of wands? Oh, yeah, king of wands in reverse. Wow. <laughs> Somebody that's a bully. Very much so a tyrant. They're jealous. They're competitive. Lazy. Codependent. Very bitter. So this could be a jealous man. It's a lot of masculine energy here in this reading. This is a jealous man here that could be very reckless with their sex life. Oh, somebody here could be losing their relationships and a lot of money, their stability, because they lied to a lot of people around them about their whole life. This person, too, could be reckless sexually. They could be having sex with other people. They could have gotten caught cheating, so they could be going through a breakup, or this is you. Flip the roles. They could be sleeping around with a lot of people. Six of Wands in reverse. This person... For some of you, somebody could be sleeping with the same sex. They could be undercover. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Yeah, they, they were doing a lot here to make money. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. This could be, for some of you, this is my my Warlock card. So somebody here could, could have been doing a lot of magic. And they fell, because I'm looking at that Six of Wands too. There's a gate that this man has open. Like they're trying to catch something. It's like... Like they're trying to restrict you. They feel they're trying to trap you or do whatever. I don't know what they were trying to do. Or keep up whatever this lie is. Maybe go watch Leo's reading because that's definitely a Leo. What's this King of Wands in reverse? Yeah, Knight of Cups. What's King of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups? Nine of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, this person here, I just heard somebody could be burning. Like, somebody really got an STD, possibly. I don't know. From sleeping around because of their childhood wounds. This person is, like, they're not healed. 
They're just not. This person could just be jealous of other people that you date. Like, they've been giving you a hard time when it comes down to, like, your love life and things like that. Like, somebody has really been in the background doing a lot and hiding it. What's this Ace of Cups right here? Four of Wands. Aries, Venus. <laughs> yeah, the Devil and the Seven of Wands in reverse. No more control. Somebody's losing power, respect, authority. Seven of Wands in reverse. Because I feel like it's the way that you love yourself. Your life is showing others that this is a lie or this is a false, like a facade, a false persona that this person got. It's a facade. You've overcame this dealing with this shit with this person. The devil in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse. Could be a Capricorn. Definitely Leo. Go watch Leo, child. <laughs> yeah. Somebody here is losing respect. Power. They're weakening. <laughs> mm-hmm person fails to compromise with you they fail to work with you definitely um they're gonna have to surrender and release and let the shit go but somebody is burnt out they is burnt out they tired they should be because they can't beat you like if this person keeps trying to like do certain things to you to hurt you and it's just like you're over it you're not hurt you're not anything so the power and authority this person had over you is is over and i feel like you've graduated you've overcame a lot you have um you're celebrating you could be coming into a union, definitely one with yourself. This is like self-love, self-care, a lot of emotional fulfillment. You could be meeting new people that you resonate with. You could be going into a new partnership, a relationship. For some of you, what's the four of wands? But that's definitely a goal has been achieved. Yeah, ten of pentacles. Some of y'all getting married. Some of y'all getting ready to get married, have children. Okay, there's like good news. You could be dating. Page of Cups, the fool, the world. You could have... Could be dating somebody that's online. You're meeting somebody online, okay? It's going to turn in. That's going to be the one, okay? It'd be happening like that, too. So you need to stay open. You never know when you're going to meet the one. Drug addiction to ease pain and anxiety. Yeah, somebody, they just lost their way. <clears throat> it's sad. It's sad to see people fall and just stay a victim to their childhood and they, the abuse and the this and the that like some people i guess are just not strong enough to deal with their pain but there's a lot of abundance coming in for you a lot in the form of material wealth spiritual wealth emotional physical um and mental and emotional yeah So we have makes careless mistakes that affects them long term. Yeah. Then we have um staying stuck and can't get past the pain. That's what I'm saying. What's the other side say? Irresponsible and unwilling to complete or follow through. Then the opposite side of this, it says moving on with your life and saying goodbye to the past. Yeah, this is you. You did the opposite of what this person did. And I feel like this is them. They try to act like they moved on. They, they haven't, this person, ever since they left you or whatever this is, they haven't been right since, child. You were the one that really broke them down, honey. You're, you're like their karma. You know, it's kind of like, it's what it feels like. Marital problems stemming from different personalities. <clears throat> Marital issues stemming from trust issues. I feel like it's both. They could be in conflict and fighting with this the person that they dated now because of course they have moved on they didn't found a rebound that's for sure so they they having problems over there this person the truth about their behavior and what they're doing is coming out it's just coming out they're being rejected i feel like they're fighting or arguing with somebody that they with okay cutting ties with you and moving towards their next victim yeah that's what i'm saying i'm telling you what i just say this person didn't found them a rebound they found somebody to keep doing this abusive ass shit to Instead of working on themselves, they're finding somebody else. And that shit is falling apart, too. It's like, this person, then they're going to do the same shit that they did to you to the, this person that they, they got with over you or whatever this is. I don't know. Cutting ties with their ex and moving on with you. I feel like they're falling apart. Things are falling apart with this person, this new person or whatever they're doing because they still hung up on you. 
But you know what's crazy too? I feel like they do that with all their exes though. They move on from their exes and when they, when they don't get their way with that ex, they do shit behind their back and they pillow talk with the next bitch and then the next bitch gets mad at the ex because this person and lied about their whole life or lied about why the relationship fell apart. Now they got beat. It's same thing. What what this sound like to me? It sound like damn Blueface and Krishan and Jaden situation <laughs> with a narcissist because Blueface is a narcissist. He started all this shit. And the only thing that I see about Krishan and Jaden is that they're not awakened. If they were spiritually um, awakened and they really knew themselves, they would see what I see. Okay, because I see right through Blueface. He's a damn narcissist and he likes drama, chaos. That's a dangerous person. Okay, that has mommy issues. He needs to go on somewhere with that shit. For sure. For sure. And people are saying Krishan and Jaden are stupid. They, they are right now. They are. But once they awaken, they're going to look back and realize what they did and they're going to be smarter moving forward. And I feel like, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, Jaden, like, I mean, it's stupid to stay stuck somewhere where you really don't want to be. But she is very, she played her role. Like, she played dumb a lot. <laughs> she played dumb a lot. Okay, so. I, but I feel like they both are scared to walk away from Blueface. With a narcissist, you do get scared to walk away. They make you feel like that. And that's the cycle of abuse. You keep going back. People don't understand. I feel like people understand more so of physical abuse than they do mental and emotional. A lot of people don't even realize they're being mentally and emotionally abused until later. So, I don't know. But somebody, they're getting ready to be broken down. Because they need to heal. This is a mess. Okay, yeah, acts innocent and pretends to play victim. That's what I'm saying. It's clueless on how they act and can't see what they are doing wrong. No, this person knows. I feel like it's both. They, This person is so screwed up that they just sometimes, I don't know. But it says, thinks what others are doing is beneath them and that they are better. Pretends to cheer others on but disagrees with their lifestyle. Yeah, this is this person. They attack you behind your back. Like, this, is, this person is ruthless. Yeah, believing in lies and supporting untruths without investigating and spreading misinformation through words of mouth, word of mouth and internet trolling. Yeah, this person is a nasty human being. They're just nasty, man. They didn't, they ass is just fearful, afraid to lose you. Fearful, afraid of losing themselves by loving you. Yeah, this person is afraid to lose you while you're afraid of losing yourself. Because you, you, you know, because of loving them, this person will be, will bring you down to your worst because they don't love themselves. Like this person, if you let them, they're going to hurt you purposely <laughs> because they don't, they just, they, something is mentally disturbing with this person. Something is wrong with them. It says trauma easily triggered by others due to their past issues. Easily triggered by others because they haven't forgiven them. Yeah, so you trigger the fuck out of this person. You do. But it's like they love you. You know what I'm saying? Taking notes in order to take over. Taking notes and watching you on how you do it. Yeah, steals people's time and energy for their own selfishness. Steals items and resources from their environment to benefit themselves. Yeah, this person is an energy thief. They probably do like commit crimes and things like that, like steal from others. But energetically, they're a thief. They need supply. That's why they've moved on to whoever this other person is. And now they're fighting with them. Because that other person is probably waking up to the bullshit. So let's just hope and pray they get out. So <laughs> like, you know, even if, because that could be the same person that this per that this ex of yours, this crazy person, try to turn you against. They like try to create drama and chaos between you and this person that they with now. That shit over there is falling apart. Because the truth is coming out about them. Now they're going to be trying to get away like you did. Hopefully they make it, make it out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, this person here abuses their power. So very... They need to be off the street. I'm serious. I think I said that in your last reading. Wait a bit to open that bottle. Just a bit more effort. Winning. Things are looking up and it's time to celebrate. Then we have incident, incident and decent behavior at work reported to human resources. So somebody who was getting ready to celebrate something or do something, that shit quickly went left. And decent behavior at work reported to human resources. What's to say? Reported to human resources due to some someone's jealousy or vindictiveness. 
Uh, yeah, let's let's see what's a uh, wait a bit to open. To open, what did it say? Wait a bit to open up that bottle. Okay. Windfall, inheritance or money owed to you is coming. Okay, negative balance, time's up to pay up. Okay, period. That's what I'm saying. This is getting ready to be you celebrating. Okay, Spirit is telling you to wait a bit because things are chaotic or things need to like play out with this situation. Okay, you're moving into peaceful, calmer waters though. Windfall, inheritance or money owed to you is coming. Yeah, this is just abundance. If it's not money, it's abundance. It's prosperity. It's something that they stole from your energy basically what's indecent behavior at work politics extreme political views and forces them onto others extremes this person feel like they just so smart extreme political views that will ostracize ostracize themselves from others yeah then we have someone knows their secret and is about to be exposed buried secrets someone doesn't want anyone to dig up yeah something is covered out <laughs> Something, I don't know if you expose it or what, or there's people in this group that has, or what happened. But something came out about this person's mental disorder or about the fact that they're stuck on you. You rejected them, and so they've been stuck ever since. Like, something something happened. What's, what's this indecent exposure with someone knows their secret is about to be exposed? Yeah. Unhappily married and not, and not wanting to fix things. Yeah, about you guys... Being in that relationship with that person and not being happy and leaving. This person here lied about why y'all left. Why you left. Unhappily married but wanting to fix things. But is it worth it? Yeah, you don't want to fix things and they do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this shit is about them. It's about getting ready to come out. They done did all that shit just for them to turn around and look like a damn fool. Sucking up to get a head cloud chaser. Yeah. Working hard and getting noticed. Yeah, that's you. Spiritual healer who is working on themselves. Spiritual charlatan preaches to get money from others. That just came out in this same position, I think, for Leo. Or was it Capricorn? Maybe go watch all of it. Yeah, what I say? Thinks they are smarter than others due to their degree. <laughs> Somebody can have a psychology degree. This person, they play a lot of mind games. A lot of psychological abuse here. Thinks, that they, are, thinks they are smarter than others due to their background. Catfish, person used an image 10 plus years ago. It ain't cute. <laughs> Catfish, too much makeup or filter or totally different person. Yeah, somebody here could have been making fake pages of you. Someone is hiding the evidence, but they will soon be found out. Receipts have been found and the truth will be revealed. <laughs> Someone is spreading the tea because they are jealous. Someone is spreading lies because they are intimidated and insecure. Ciao. Well... I love when people like this get exposed. You bitches, you deserve it. Because <laughs> you should not be doing this. This is very childish. And this could be a man. I don't see not one woman here. These are men coming out. This is like, I'm just looking at the cards. This is a man that has created a false narrative about you. You could have kids with them. They could definitely be an ex. Okay. Hearing that strong. This is a damn warlock ex you got. This person is evil. <laughs> Level 8 consciousness. Your ego is beginning to crumble. You master the energy you channel. Your energy can influence others' actions. Life path number 9. Wise, giving, humanitarian, humble. Have vision and passion to inspire others. Prone to rescuing partners. <laughs> it's chill. Then we have born witch. Okay, period. Born a natural witch. Magic is both your spiritual path and job. Your success will come as a witch. Yeah, you took this person. Now, I'm telling you, you could have dated a warlock here. Because you're a witch, I'm, I can guarantee you, you attracted a warlock. That's what this king of wands is in reverse. This fake-ass emperor, this false twin of yours. Okay. Definitely got some sort of victory here. And with patience, you, you've been a trailblazer here. You've been... <clears throat> You've been setting your own trends. You've been doing you. Somebody here is just jealous. Because, and I feel like too, they, they hide what they do. Because they 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 do it for dark reasons. You're at, you're an actual healer. So that's why they, they can't stand you. They can't stand you at all. <laughs> they can't stand it. Because they can't seem to siphon the energy that they need to keep things going in their life. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, home and family. 
this person, yeah, home, family, self-love, community. I feel like you could be starting a home and starting a family. They could have a home and a family too, but I, I can guarantee you they were stealing energy from you to create that for themselves. I don't know, but let's see. So we got perspective shift, phase of deep questioning, seeing through the lies and delusions. Stop seeing life as you once did. Level 10 consciousness, damn. You know, Aries, as an Aries moon and an Aries Venus, and I have other placements, a lot of them in my side reel, for sure. I feel like I'm not even here. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have reached such a high level of consciousness that it's just... And this is why all this shit is coming out. You live in your own spiritual reality. You are fused with the collective. You're able to channel divine power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah unconscious seeking answers karmic bonds failing mission yeah they failed they definitely failed from grace so i don't know if this person was a good person or not child they i feel like they had potential excuse me potential to be a good person but this person here they failed their mission i don't know what they were trying to do with you it says difficult road spirit of perseverance being prepared for great things walking the hard path in life yeah somebody chose to be difficult Excuse me. Oh, wow. Then we have easy road. <laughs> Good karma flow into your life. A comfortable average life. Making it through life unscathed. <laughs> mm, what else, spirit? <laughs> yeah, we got soul purpose. Soul birthing process. Discovering your soul purpose. Unfolding your unique abilities. And then we have newborn soul. Novus. <laughs> excuse me. My voice going on. Somebody here could want you to shut up or stop talking. They they do not like what you do. You get, it says magic is both your spiritual path and job. Some of y'all are actually uh, spiritual practitioners. You could be readers like me. You could be studying herbalism. <clears throat> but it says novices of physical existence. Existence. Your lessons are basic life skills, survival, flesh, and the traits are untamed, childlike, and unrefined. Some of y'all could be having a baby coming. You're supposed to keep building this legacy. So you could be co-creating, procreating, procreating, co-creating both. I'm here, okay. What's this newborn soul? That's definitely a baby in the, um, what you call that? The sack? Okay, yeah, community. Making a community contribution, standing up for the right of others, deeply caring for social issues. So yeah, this is, you were born here with these abilities to bring people together or to help heal other people this person here they got the wrong one this person thinks that they're so smart with their words the mind games they're not <laughs> not when it comes out to you damn karma is striking <laughs> karma is striking just period all right, yeah, disillusionment. Disillusion by the fake spiritual BS. Craving for deeper spirituality. Spirit is pushing you to dig deeper. Collaboration, yeah, whoever they're collaborating with, that shit getting ready to fall apart. Collaborations lead to higher levels. Learn to appreciate others' viewpoints. You have a, you'll have a successful collaboration. What's this disillusionment? Legacy. <laughs> Achieving great things in abundance. Your purpose is to leave a legacy, living the highest quality of life. They could have been working with a lot of people to take this from you, to cause illusions. What's disillusionment with legacy? They've been trying to like just put a lot of like uh, setbacks and delays in your way to stop you from getting this. So they can pretend like they just, oh, well, you, I told you they'd never get anywhere. I told you that they was fake as fuck. Like they wanted to prove their point. <laughs> so bad. So we have Arcturian. Or you can read through the illusions. That's a part of your legacy. This person here wanted to collab with you, but you don't want to collab with them. You're, you're meant to collab with somebody else. They're mad about that. You can see through their disillusionment and the fake spiritual shit because you have a gift to see through shit like that. <laughs> yeah, Arcturian. You can be an Arcturian star seed. It says, I think you can be multiple star seeds at one time, to be honest. Let me know in the comments. I think you can. Cause there's a lot of traits about other star seeds that I possess. So I've been reading up on that. I think you can become, you can have more than one star seed like quality or something, but 
It says, um, gifted at divination and channeling, leader in communities and workplaces, here to advance and innovate. Exactly. What's collaboration? Yeah, unconscious. Right. They, they want to collaborate with you with this person. <clears throat> it says, not awake, unawareness of self, prefers for prefer familiarity of unconsciousness asleep but thinks you're awake that's what i'm saying like this person they want to be a part of your life so bad this person they have a lot of healing work to do they can't be a part of what you got going on and this person mad at you bitch talk to god about it because this is my past god wrote the contract and said that you your ass wasn't supposed to be there with me why don't you go talk to god how the fuck you gonna be mad at me for some shit i you know i'm still trying to figure out my damn self what the fuck or this person, they've been new this shit, but they just, they were working against you behind your back, behind the scenes, and you didn't know. They knew more about your potential than you knew about yourself. They didn't want you to find your potential at all. But it says path of the heart, a path dedicated to romantic love. <clears throat> Main life lessons will be heart-based on earth to obtain emotional wisdom. Yeah, earth soul. So you can have earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doing this shit, we got strong Aries. So this person can have strong Aries in their chart too, for some of you. But it says, sticks to what is socially accepted. Desire to belong to a community, spiritually evolve here on earth. Then we have hidden blessings. <clears throat> Find the blessings and the struggles. Grow and expand beyond the limitations. Be grateful for all life experiences. Answers within and burning karma. Yeah. Shortcuts, connections, and resistance is in the ego self. So somebody here would rather, this person can't be by themselves. They can't heal. They got to be with other people. They have to have other connections around. There could be a lot of people around this person. Like they like to take shortcuts. They like to use other people for their own selfish gain. And then when that person be like, oh, you know what? I finally want to grow now and I'm awake and I want to heal. I want to go towards my purpose. They're like, well, who the fuck do you think that you are for trying to leave me behind? <laughs> like that's this kind of person they'll go behind your back and do spell work on you and everything wow <laughs> like you know not surprised but i don't know aries this was your reading i hope that it resonated like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings and i will talk to you all i'll talk to you guys soon bye